Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Ann Makes. Thank you so very much for stopping by and welcome to my studio. If you are new here and you would like to always know what I am up to in terms of my haul videos, in terms of my mixed media, art making, what I'm doing in the arts and crafts industry, uh, then you'll want to subscribe so you don't miss any of that. So today I am sharing with you my shopping extravaganza haul from yesterday. No, don't worry, I'm not going to show you everything. I had so many things to get done in one day. Um, I had to go to the vet, get the cat food. I had to go to the uh, magazine store that, that has a... Um, there's a store in the town next to me that... Uh, sells books, magazines, it's kind of a gift shop thing, and they also have some fine arts materials and they teach uh, like painting classes and that. So uh, the stuff there is usually expensive, but I was really in need of a product, so I had to go there. I went to Walmart and uh, Dollarama and Dollar Tree. So, <laughs> oh, and the post office and the pharmacy. So, uh, <laughs> It was one of those days, but I thought you might be interested in seeing uh, some of the more interesting things that I purchased. I So this is what I got at Walmart and Dollar Tree. So at Walmart, I went to buy a bin, a storage bin. Now's the time to buy those storage bins. Big bins here. I just needed an extra bin for some storage in my basement. And these are the Sterlite and I want to tell you how big it is tough one um yeah 18 gallon 68 liters so and they have them in this like turquoisey color they had like um a, a peachy color they had some some funky colors and i just wanted something dark and these are $7.94 currently i think the sale is still on uh so yeah, so it's a good time. They had a lot of storage stuff at Walmart. So I just, I know this is a time of year when people just want to like organize themselves and store things and, you know, declutter. So just wanted to share that with you. Uh, while I was there, I checked for uh, these little canvas panels that I've had bought before at Walmart. You get three of these, as you can see, they're about <laughs> just a, like one, two two and a half inches square type of thing. You get three of them and they're $1.47. I find they're, they're good value. And so I picked up a few of these. I like to use these to make small pieces of art uh, when I'm doing like uh, giveaways, well, the giveaways, uh, when I have stuff that I donate or whatever. But also I use these for sample boards try out new products so i i got myself a bunch of those so uh yeah if you want little canvas panels go check out your walmart and uh, while i was there i went down the kitchen aisle and i found this pretty mug sorry it's a little cruddy now because i'm having my coffee so i got myself this new kitty mug and inside here it says i don't know if you can see that life is perfect so I, this is my new mug for my uh, my coffee. I uh, my other kitty cat mug that I had broke. So this is to replace my cat mug. So this was like four ninety something, not exactly a dollar store price, but hey, it's got a cat with shades. Come on, it's a cool cat. So I got that. I checked on the other crafts that they had there. That 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 Walmart that I go to. This is the closest one to me. Uh, their craft section is so tiny. They really don't have much. But they had some stuff in the clearance, and they had this box of pearly beads, and you get all that. So you get 7.6 ounces, 215 grams. They were clearing these out, and this was $6.50. I think these were almost like $15 full price, so I jump on that. 
And I was lucky that I was there at the right time to check out the magazines because they had some of my favorite magazines that I usually have to go to the city to find. And uh, they had Daphne's Diary, which is the December, I think, December, January issue. Not quite sure. The number eight, printed in the UK, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, number eight, 2018. So this is probably the last issue of 2018, the December issue. And they had my one of my favorite magazines also from Stampington. Stampington and Company is art journaling. I like these are very like artsy, artsy magazines, and I love these. So to find these in my little, in my little Walmart, uh, in this you know, Hicksville, is <laughs> very surprising and made me very happy. <clears throat> and I also saw there was a Flow magazine which. That blew me away, but uh, yeah, so I got these. These are not cheap. This, like this, the Flow magazine that comes with a supplement, um, a notebook supplement, was like twenty-five dollars. This is something from um, Europe. It's from Amsterdam. Uh, Stamington is also not cheap. It is like uh, seventeen dollars, um, and the Flow magazine was $19 so uh, but th these are made they have, the paper is nice and thick it's really nice quality paper uh, it's beautiful photography images lots of great projects there's stuff to pull out to make crafts so I I love these magazines very much so that was uh Walmart I believe yeah I'm not going to show you the other boring stuff I bought at Walmart uh, so that's yep yeah. so I went to Dollar Tree and when I walked into Dollar Tree they had these on display their little they had val the Valentine stuff was out it's so funny because they're not finished putting away the Christmas stuff but the Valentine's and Easter Easter are up and it's it's really right they probably just a truck probably just came that uh, yesterday morning because there were boxes everywhere there were empty walls and empty shelves and they they were really going crazy the store was packed with people too it was very hectic and uh they were, the girls that were working there yesterday were doing the best really they were doing their best to get you know the store rid of christmas and deal with this new shipment and having to get all the Chris, the valentine's day stuff out on the shelves it was, yeah mayhem so i have to go i will be going back this week because i will be in that area and i can't wait to check out the other stuff because i saw a lot of boxes and i was checking what the content was on them and uh so i know that hopefully it'll still be there by the time i go i go back but what i did get was this little heart decoration as a heart in a heart they had them in this pink red and uh, like gold color they also had one that says love and but i just thought this was really pretty pink and i'm just gonna leave this here in my studio yes it'll be a decoration for valentine's but i could leave it all year because it goes with the colors a uh, new this was new to me at my Dollar Tree and I was really happy to see this. I wasn't going to there to buy this. I didn't know they had them. They had the Tomcat mouse, mouse killer. Sorry, mouse poison. Yes, I'm a sadistic person. Um, if you've ever had an infestation of mice, you know, yeah. Uh, you 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 know what I'm I what I had to deal with and I don't want to have to deal with that ever again so I uh, this is just a precaution I have used this in my house I don't have mice I don't see mice anymore so uh this is just a precaution and at one twenty five one dollar twenty five a piece for these little tomcat mouse killers uh yes please because I have bought this exact same brand I bought it from Canadian Tire and Walmart and Home Depot and I have paid way more 
than $1.25. So I'm very, very happy for that. And I said $1.25 because I'm in Canada, and in Canada that is the price we pay for items at Dollar Tree. Uh, they say it's because of the, the exchange rate and stuff. So another thing that I was really happy to find, um, and this was in the beauty aisle, was the quick root touch-up uh, 10 minutes hair color. They only had brown, so which is fine for me because I have brown hair. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I've never used this product before. Um, I hope uh, I hope it works well. And if it doesn't, it was only $1.25. But I did buy a few in case I do like it. And yeah, so I got this and I thought, yeah, that's exactly what I need sometimes. I, I don't want to color my entire hair, but I have a few roots or a few gray hairs popping up here and there that I'd like to, you know, cover up. So, yeah, I thought I'd get that. Um, and where they have this, this is, this is how this store is arranged, where they have the socks, they have the, uh, what do you call this? Fabric dye, the Tintax fabric dye. So I got a box of the blue, a box of the yellow, red, and brown. Now they also have the white X stuff, which is really a good product to whiten uh, clothes, but I already have that at home. And my intention was to buy these, to have them in my stash, because I know it is possible to use the powdered dye in here to make uh, color, to use in, in our crafting. You can use this to make spray sprays colored sprays you can use it to dye other products you can use it to uh, sprinkle on paper paper and you know sprinkle on water it's just like a lot of fun it's basically like it's almost like pure pigment it's just a dye so there's a lot you can do with that so but i warn you that this stuff does stain your fingers and will stain whatever is around you so you may want to wear gloves and not your best clothes when working with this. So uh, like other people who've been going to Dollar Tree and have been showing on their websites, I too found the little rubber plants here that they have, the little succulent picks. So I got, I grabbed a whole bunch because I just think these are lovely and these are definitely plants I will not be able to kill. <laughs> so got that. Got that one, and this one, and this one, so that, and this one. I also got some stems, they call these the greenery bouquet, and they're very nice. They're kind of soft. They're rubbery with like a velvet feeling to them. Very they're pretty. They go like this. And this one for a little touch of color. And then they also have this one. So these are new at Dollar Tree. I've seen people from the U.S. Uh, show these in the, their videos. And I was like, wow, they're already at my Dollar Tree. I was so impressed. Uh, new at uh, Dollar Tree were these infinity scarves. I thought these were really pretty colors. I love the combination. N little bright, but not too bright. Nice way to jazz up uh, a top. Would go well with this one. So I got that one. So it's this one's like basically little flower there's some flowers in there with just a lot of color and this one I got kind of a, a green teal and it has some feathers so got those two they did have a few other styles and I just chose those two those were my favorite the garden the fairy garden stuff is at my Dollar Tree and I was so excited However, not everything has been unpacked, so it, I hope that the items I was not able to find uh, that I've seen other people haul will be
be at my store next week, but I don't know. I really was hoping to find the little butterfly chairs and the little leaf slide and the little uh, arch or arbor that I've seen other people show in their Dollar Tree hauls, but they were not at my store yesterday. But I did get the little house and I, I was really looking forward to finding these because I had heard that they seem to be better this year and they are. I do find that these are well made. They have more detail than the little houses. They're better finished than the ones they had last year. So kudos to them. I mean, seriously, for the price that we pay for this, these are really, really cute. So those are some of the little houses. I also got this little mushroom one. So sweet. They're, they are different from the ones uh, last year. So that I think that's all the little houses. I might have some more in here. So And I didn't hold back on getting the, the little figurines and stuff. So I basically got two of each that they had. I got two of these little gnomes. And I also got um, the little fairies. I got two of those. I got two of the little uh, woodland creatures. The little hedgehog and the owl. I think it's a hedgehog. Looks like a hedgehog. A uh, little bunny. And they also had some like little um, oh, objects. This one is like a little bicycle and watering can. And this one, I it's really hard. I think it's a, a hoe or a spade or a shovel or something like that. Yeah, this looks like a spade. So, that. And then they have these tiny little, tiny, it's two little chairs with a little table. So cute, so tiny and cute. Got that. The little uh, birdhouses and welcome, a birdhouse, welcome Selene. And I think that's like a bird bath or something. Not too sure what that one is. And yeah, so that's all the fairy garden stuff what that was available at my Dollar Tree. Uh, and so I hope, like I said, if I would, I hope that I find the butterfly chairs and the slide and the arbor because I would love to have those in my collection. In the wall decor aisle, the, you know the Main Street uh, stickers, they call jumbo stickers for walls. They had this one. I don't know if this is new, but I, it's the first time I've noticed it. And I really like the colors and the designs. So I got this. It's like these tie-dye doilies. That's what I'm calling them. Yeah, I'm calling them. I also got the MDF sign, the love sign. So a nice little thing to, you know, alter, paint, nice little project to have, you know, to make something, nice project to make with kids too. I got some of the decorative mesh. I got six rolls of the white. So I know if I see it, I have to jump on it. So I got that. So I have it in my stash. And they had crepe paper streamers, so I got the pink. I have to double check my stash of, of crepe uh, paper streamers because I was pretty sure I didn't have pink, so that's the only one I bought. I got a couple of these little very thin, um, like little balsa wood, I guess. Do-it-yourself home decor wooden heart signs, so I that. I got a package of mechanical pencils. I don't think these are new, uh, but I just wanted to use these for my desk, have them in my, in my cup on my desk because I like the colors and I'm always reaching for mechanical pencils and pencils in general, so those will get used 
uh, there were some new cards in the little thank you cards. So I got this one. And I picked up this package of iridescent tissue paper. You get four sheets of this blue color. Just because I'm working on a project right now and I it it just called to me when I was in the store and I just thought this might be good for uh, something I'm working on currently. So that oh we were in need of some toenail clippers. Uh, so I got everybody a new toenail clipper and uh, actually my son remarked and I agree with him uh, this this these work really well this these ones the big ones they yeah they're they do cut your nail well so I got that for everybody I'm in need of some clear index tabs uh, for some files that I have getting to identify those files and so this will help and I got I got another set of the precision screwdriver set because I could not find my set I don't know where it happened to it someone came in my tools took my set and so yeah I just got a new one and lo and behold as I was putting other things away in my house uh, yesterday I found my other precision screwdriver set not where it's supposed to be but I found it so anyway now I have a backup uh, I got this Valentine's table scatter they're like a little I don't think they're glass I think they're acrylic hearts and you get 50 pieces they come in red and this lovely light pink yeah they don't say they just say table scatter so there's little pretty little hearts in there we were in need of some cotton swabs so got this 350 in here and I got this little container for the boys' bathroom. Uh, there's only 200 in here. So just to show you, if you buy this one, you get 200. If you buy it in the box where you have to put it in another container, it's uh, you get 350. So you, this is a better value. And, oh, uh, as I mentioned in another video, I am going to convention uh, shortly, so. I just got, I needed some toothpaste for my travel kit, so I got some of this uh, travel size Crest Sensitive Teeth with Scope, oh, well, toothpaste, so got that, and I picked up this, this is new to me also at my Dollar Tree, uh, Nivea Men, it is a little tin of cream. So I got a few of these. I thought they and they're they're well sealed. Um, these might be nice for my husband to put in his travel kit. Uh, just it's, I just thought the size was perfect. So got I know so dollar twenty five for all this may seem extravagant, but uh, actually I just bought it because it's very convenient. So that I saw the charcoal wipes and I've seen other people hold these and I thought I want to give these a try too so I'm going to try these charcoal makeup removing wipes even though I don't wear much makeup um, <clears throat> I saw the Laura Secord chocolate covered pretzels they finally showed up at my store you get 50 grams in here I just wanted to try them so I got them but I also bought what I usually buy which is the Cavalier uh, chocolate covered pretzels because in this bag you get 118 grams uh, but I'm sure they their taste is different and let's go on. Be testing that out I got a lint roller easy peel lint roller I have a cat Need I say more? Uh, and also, yeah, the craft aisle was not 
So we didn't have anything really new in the craft aisle. It's pretty meager right now. Uh, but I did get the mosaic, mirror mosaic stickers. So I got, and this is by Jot, and they're little, little squares. They're all like reflective little mirror stickers. Uh, so I got this kind of hot pink, silver, blue, green, and this gold or yellow one. So I just thought they'd be fun to use in some sort of project that requires a lot of bling. Uh, I picked up a, a package of metal garden hooks. They had just put these out and I use these in my basement to hang stuff from the ceiling, the open ceiling, and yeah, just very useful. And of course they're very useful to hang pots outside. So I got that. This was where they had the pencils and pens, uh, a retractable ID badge holder. So I got this. Uh, and it has a thingy here, clippy thing, uh, for my husband's uh, gym membership, so he can, and then clip this to the, either his, his gym bag or whatever is suitable for him, so he could just have his little card for going into the gym every day. Um, and they have these cute little buttons for Valentine's Day on like little Valentine's cards. So I got a couple of those. Um, this is the one, these are the ones I got. Thought they were really cute little pins. And some of the Valentine's Day stickers. Uh, of course, you know me, I love kitty cats. So I had to get the one with the little kitty cats and there's also puppies i think yeah there's some puppies on there too and the food one i think this is adorable and since we are foodies in this house i just thought that was appropriate love that and i also got this one because there's a cute kitty in on this one too and I also got this table scatter, just a bunch of little sparkly, I think they're foam hearts. And some googly eyes where instead of a pupil, you have a little heart. Those are fun. I got some more of the confetti black stars. I just think these are really good value. And, oh, I did get this. I did get this package of felt sheets uh, just because I it had some pretty colors. Pink, purple, white, and red. So you get 12 of these sheets. And yes, of course a package for Valentine's, but of course you can use these any time of year. And I, is this the last thing I have to show you? Yes, last but not least, I got this collapsible storage container. The part, it's, it's quite shallow, and I just wanted one of these because I will have to be taking down the Christmas decorations today and tomorrow, and I just wanted this to hold some decorations inside one of the large bins that uh, we store our Christmas stuff in. So that's that for my Dollar Tree and my little Walmart uh, haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, please comment. You can share too. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.